Today I'm going to show you four very different types of decoupage. I'll show you how to decoupage rice paper, inkjet paper, and the dreaded napkin with outstanding results. And there will be no wrinkles with this method. Hi there, my crafty friends. It's so good to see you. And if you are new to my channel, welcome aboard. If you guys are ready, let's make a mess. I bought some wooden blanks from Dollar Tree and pre-painted them because this tutorial is just about the decoupage methods. I'll be finishing these up as a project on some upcoming videos. I have some great ideas for each one of these. You'll want to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. The first method I'm going to show you is rice paper. This is by far my favorite method. It is so easy. The rice paper I chose has a beautiful picture of a lady on it. I call her my pink lady. I painted it white behind where her face is going to be. Rice paper is slightly translucent and I don't want the pink base to show through on her face. I'm using a water brush to remove the edging where it's white. The water makes it tear easily. If you don't have a water brush, you can use some water and a paintbrush. You'll get the same result. But you don't want to cut the paper, otherwise you'll get a real sharp edge and a torn edge is just nicer to look at on your finished project. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you give me a like and share it with your friends. Some white paint is showing at the bottom, so I'm adding a little bit of pink to it. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. I'd love to hear from you. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. Once I have the picture positioned the way I want it, I'm folding back the top half and adding the Mod Podge. Then I'll lift up the bottom part of the picture and add the Mod Podge there as well. Make sure you stick around so you can see how to decoupage a napkin easily with no wrinkles. When you're pressing down the picture, sometimes it can get a little bit sticky. If it does, I just put a piece of plastic over it and smooth it down that way. You can also put a little bit of water on the picture if you need to. When decoupaging, water is really your friend. I'm rolling out the picture with a sponge to make sure there are no air bubbles under the picture. I'll let this dry for a few hours and then add a coat of Mod Podge over the entire picture to seal it. Let's move on to method number two. I printed and cut these cute pictures with my Cricut machine. They're printed on plain copy paper using an inkjet printer. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you can print and cut any picture on your home printer for your project. I figured out where I wanted the tree and I'm using Mod Podge to glue it down. When using an inkjet printer, you don't want to use any water on your pictures. It'll make your ink run. I arranged where I wanted Santa and just lifted up the top of the picture and added the Mod Podge, pressed him down and then lifted up the bottom and added the Mod Podge there as well. This way my placement won't move around. Then I did the same thing with the reindeer. If you want to see tutorials on all types of crafts, you are in the right place. Be sure to check out some of my playlists. Afterwards, I rolled over the pictures with a sponge to get out any air bubbles. Now I'll let this dry and work on the back of the plaque. I'm covering the entire back of the board with Mod Podge, making sure to get all the edges. I'm using pre-printed paper for the back. I'm spraying it with a little bit of water. It won't hurt this paper at all. It removes a little of the stiffness and makes the paper easier to maneuver. It also helps the glue soak into the paper for a better bond. 
After that, I'm going back to the front and adding a coat of Mod Podge to seal the pictures. I'm rolling the sponge over them again to remove any air bubbles. Now that the paper is dry on the back, I am taking a piece of sandpaper and going along the edge. This gives you a nice clean cut on the edge of the board. Let's move on to method number three. I printed this picture from my Cricut program on plain copy paper. I'm removing some of the excess paper and I'm going to thin it out and make it the consistency of rice paper. To do this, make sure you leave some excess paper around your picture in case you get any tears when thinning it. I'm putting brown packing tape over the entire back of the picture. The brown tape is the only one that I've ever found that works for this and I'm overlapping each layer as I go. Now I'm separating the tape and the paper at the corner and slowly tearing it off. It takes a layer of the paper with it and makes your paper nice and thin, which is great for decoupaging. The tape separates best when it's running from side to side on your paper and not up and down. My Cricut program prints a black edge around the picture, so I'm removing that. And I know I just told you not to put any water on your inkjet printouts, but I want the edge of the picture to be torn and not a sharp cut. And of course, water makes that a little bit easier. I'm using the water very carefully and ripping off all of the white paper around the picture. Once I have the placement of the picture where I want it, I'll lift up the top again and add the Mod Podge, then lift up the bottom and add the Mod Podge there as well. It's a little sticky, so I'm using a piece of plastic to cover the picture as I smooth it down. Then I'll roll it with a sponge to remove any air bubbles. After it's dry, I'll add a coat of Mod Podge over the picture to seal it. Are you ready for method number four? The dreaded napkin. It's by far the most difficult, but I'm going to make it easy for you. To make life a little easier for you, always paint the background of your project the same color as the background of your napkin. I'm separating the layers of the napkin because I'm only going to use the top layer with the picture on it. This napkin has a picture that's repeated four times, but I'm only going to use one of the pictures, so I'm removing the rest of them. I'm using my water brush to wet the napkin and tear off as much of the background as I can from around the picture. I'm placing the picture now on a piece of plastic, picture side down. I just cut up a Ziploc bag to do this. Now I'm spraying the picture with water. A lot of water. Remember, water is your friend. Now I'm very carefully moving the napkin a very tiny bit to smooth out some of the large wrinkles and remove some air bubbles. Don't work it too much though or your napkin will come apart. Now I'm covering the entire board with Mod Podge.
As you hold the plastic over the board, you can see through it, which makes it real easy for you to figure out the placement of your picture. The napkin is stuck on the plastic because of the water, so it won't fall off. Once you have it lined up the way you want it, just lower the plastic to the board and smooth it out very carefully. You can push out any air bubbles and smooth any large wrinkles. Then you can carefully slide off the plastic. Once you remove the plastic, be very careful touching the napkin though. It will rip apart very easily. Don't worry about any small wrinkles. The napkin shrinks slightly when drying and that removes all of the tiny wrinkles. Anything that hangs over the edge, just leave it at this point. Once it dries, we'll remove it. If you do need to make any touch-ups around the edges after you remove the plastic, use a wet paper towel and do it very carefully. Don't even try to touch up anything other than the edges. It's dry now and there is not one wrinkle. I'm going to remove the bottom of the picture that's hanging over the edge with a piece of sandpaper and then put a coat of Mod Podge over the entire picture to seal it. Don't be alarmed if you see some small wrinkles pop up. They'll go away again as it dries. Click the picture on the right for another great video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. With a little bit of practice, you'll be a master of these four methods of decoupaging. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. And thanks so much for watching.